Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NoobCoder.com and welcome back to part 5 of my Tic-Tac-Toe GUI series. So you're probably wondering what I could possibly talk about within this tutorial since in the previous tutorial we essentially wrapped up our Tic-Tac-Toe GUI class. Now within our main method you're going to see in a bit that there's a bit of a problem with how to instantiate this. So let's actually uh, show you the example. So if I was to create a new instance of my tic-tac-toe GUI, and if I was to run this, you will probably say, hey, there's nothing wrong with this. But if you take a look at the upper left-hand corner, you can see, hey, wait a second, our menu bar isn't loading. So why is that? Now, this is a bit weird. If I click any of these J buttons, pay attention to what happens to the upper left hand side of this GUI. So if I click, you see that all of a sudden our file menu comes out of nowhere. And it works perfectly fine. Like so. So what's going on here? So just to reiterate, let's run this application again. And you can see that we're still having this problem where the file menu is not loading. And there's a perfect reason for that, and it has to do with how Java Swing works internally. So the way that Java Swing works is that it is single threaded. So you might be asking yourself, what is a thread? So to give an analogy of what a thread is, every computer has a CPU. Every modern day CPU has multiple cores and every core has several threads. Now what a thread allows you to do is to process multiple things at once. So you've probably heard of multi-processing applications. So in Java Swing, we have something called the event dispatcher thread. And this thread is responsible for updating the GUI. So what's probably happening internally is that the menu bar that we have up here is loading but it isn't being displayed because it's probably loading on another thread which is why we're getting a delayed reaction from it being displayed within our GUI application. So in order to remedy that situation we could just exit out of our Java Swing application. We're gonna have to wrap this instance of the tic-tac-toe GUI using something called the swing utilities. So we're just going to type in swing utilities, control space to have autocomplete. Then we're going to say invoke later. And this accepts a interface do run. So we're going to use an anonymous class that implements that interface. So we're going to say new runnable. And we're just going to highlight this and say add unimplemented methods. And now finally, all we have to do is stick our instance of the tic-tac-toe GUI within the run method. So I stick that in there. And now if I run my application, you can see that our GUI application runs correctly. You can see that our menu bar is already loaded and you can see that our board is loaded. So if I play my tic-tac-toe game, you can see that everything is working perfectly fine. So you might be asking, so why did sticking my tic-tac-toe GUI instance within the swing utilities that invoke later method do anything? Well, this is a pretty much a helper and this takes care of any updates to the GUI. So it uses a queue internally and that queue takes note of essentially when changes are made to the GUI that are outside of the event dispatch thread and update the GUI. So basically it schedules the updates to the GUI without you having to worry about it. So this pretty much wraps up this tic-tac-toe GUI series. I hope you learned something and I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Like, comment, subscribe.